Hi everyone, my name is Frances. Welcome to this gently stimulating yoga flow. I'm so excited to have you here with me. This class is designed to ignite your inner light, to nourish your body, mind, and spirit. Throughout the practice today, please feel free to modify poses and take breaks whenever you need it. As this is your practice, I'm here to support you every step of the way. I do recommend you to have two blocks with you for the practice today. If you are ready, let's get started! Begin by coming onto your shins with your big toes touching, and gently lower your forehead down to the mat. Extend your arms forward, inhale deeply, exhale completely, and find comfort in this extended child's pose. Keep your hips grounded and heavy on your heels. On your next exhale, begin to walk both of your hands towards your right side. With each breath, feel the stretch along the left side of your body. On your next inhale, lift your torso slightly and see if you can move a little bit further to the right. Then melt down to the earth. Inhale deeply. Exhale, walk both of your hands back towards the center. Inhale again. And as you exhale, release any remaining tension. Keep your hips heavy on your heels. On your next exhale, slowly walk both of your hands towards the left side extending them away from your mat. Feel the stretch along the right side of your body. Inhale, lift your torso a tiny bit and continue to move towards the left, allowing your body to melt down. Move as far as you comfortably can. Stay mindful of your breath as you find a gentle and soothing stretch on the right side. Slowly walk your hands back to the center. Take this time to honor your presence on the mat and set an intention for this practice. When you are ready, tuck your toes, lift your forehead, come onto your hands and knees for tabletop. Inhale, arch your spine, drop your belly, lift your head and tailbone up for cow. Exhale, push the floor around your spine, tuck your chin for cat. Inhale, lift your chest for cow. Exhale, ripple through your spine, draw your belly button towards your spine for cat. Continue flowing between cat and cow with each breath, warming up your spine and allow your breath, your life force to flow in your body. Find a rhythm that feels good for your body. Sinking your breath with the movement. Return to a neutral tabletop. Take a moment to center yourself. Begin to tuck your toes, lift your hips up to downward facing dog. Come high up onto your toes, bend both of your knees. We'll focus stretching on one leg at a time. Press your right heel down or towards the mat. Feel the stretch at the back of your right calf and right hamstrings. Inhale, rise high to the balls of your feet. Exhale, press your left heel down to the mat. Keep your right knee bent. Stretch your left leg. Lower down. Find length in the back of your legs and your spine. Now pedaling out your feet with your own pace, lifting one heel at a time. Then find stillness in downward facing dog. Press your palms firmly into the mat, sending your hips up towards the ceiling. Either reaching your heels towards the mat or keeping a slight bend in your knees.
Gently walk your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen your back. Your hands can come onto your thighs if your hamstrings are super tight, or down on your shins or on the mat. Exhale, hinge forward, fold down over your thighs. Keep your knees bent as much as you need. Grab your opposite elbows. Be mindful not to lean back too much into your heels. Instead, shift your weight slightly towards the balls of your feet. Keep breathing. Relax your head. Relax your neck. Or stay here for a cup of breaths. You can sway your torso gently from side to side. Release any tensions and tightness. Keep your knees bent, and slowly roll yourself up to standing. Tuck your chin. Allow your head to come out at last. Mountain pose. Stand tall. Roll your shoulders up and down. Keep your feet together or hip distance apart. Inhale, reach your arms up and overhead, lengthening your spine and gaze forward or towards the sky. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold forward. Inhale, lift your torso halfway, lengthening your spine, extending your chest forward, hands on your shins or the mat. Exhale. Step your left foot back. Lower the knee down. Right knee over your ankle. Take your hands onto your right thigh. Push your torso up. Shoulders over your hips. Navel finds your spine. Draw your rib cage in. Little core engagement here. Take a deep breath here to ground yourself down. If you have a block, place it next to your right hip. You can start with a high setting. Inhale, extend your arms overhead. Create length from your tailbone to the crown of your head. Exhale, place your right hand next to your right hip on a block or the mat. Extend your left arm, reaching towards the right side. Feel the stretch from your left hip flexor to your left fingertips. To deepen the stretch, you can lower the block to a medium height. Or you may not need the block at all. As you reach overhead, bring your left bicep closer to your ear. Nice and easy. Rise back up to center. Exhale. Lower your hands down and straighten your right leg. Untuck your left toes. Flex your right foot. Toes facing up towards the ceiling. Inhale. Lengthen your spine. Exhale. Fold down into half Hanuman, half split. Options to place your hands on the blocks next to your hips. You can also walk your hands and arms forward if that feels more comfortable for you. Finding the balance between effort and ease. Gently place both of your hands inside your right shin. Shift your weight forward. Bend your front knee. Straighten your back leg, entering into lizard pose. Spin onto the pinky edge of your right foot. Left hand stay down, or option to come down on your forearm. If this feels good, you can stay here. If you want to go a little bit deeper to open your inner thigh more, bring your right hand to your inner right knee and gently press the knee down towards the mat, opening up your chest. Enjoy exploring the various options and variations to make this practice unique and beneficial for you. From here, whether you are on your left palm or forearm, reach your right arm up and behind you. If possible, you can even try to grab hold of your left foot. If you can't find your foot at all, try place a block under your left hand. See if that helps. If not. That is a okay. Simply gaze towards it. Remember to breathe. Use breath to release any built-up tension. Take one more deep breath in. 
and as you exhale, windmill your right hand back down to the mat. Step back for plank, drawing your navel toward your spine. Inhale, prepare for down dog. Exhale, lift your hips up and back, pressing through your palms and toes. Inhale, lift your right leg straight up and back, extended it behind you while keeping your hips square to the mat. Imagine reaching your heel towards the wall behind you. Flex your right foot and maintain an active leg. Exhale, lower your leg down back to downward facing dog. Inhale, lengthen your spine from the tailbone to the crown of your head. Exhale, slowly lower your forearms to the mat, keeping your elbows directly beneath your shoulders. Option to interlace your fingers here. Firmly press your palms together and your forearms into the floor. Spread your shoulder blades wide. Engage your glutes. Draw your navel in towards your spine. Exhale. Walk your feet in for dolphin pose. Same as we did in downward facing dog. Keep a soft bend at your knees. You can pedal your feet out here if that feels good for you. Feel the power and strength flowing through your body in this dolphin pose. Inhale strength. Exhale doubt. You're capable of holding this pose and growing stronger with each breath. Exhale lower your knees down, resting your hips on your heels, and your forehead resting on the mat. Child pose. Take a moment to connect with your breath, allowing yourself to relax. Inhale, lift your upper body, coming onto your hands and knees. Hover your knees off. Lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Relax your neck. Relax your head. Bend your knees. Gaze forward. Walk to the top of your mat. Take as many steps as you need. Flat back. Exhale, release down. Allowing any tightness or stress to melt away. Inhale, slowly roll up, one foot a breath at a time. Coming to a standing position, mountain pose. Other side. Inhale, extend your arms towards the sky. Lengthen your spine, gaze upward or forward. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold forward. Inhale, rise halfway, extending your spine and chest forward. Hands on your shins or the mat. Exhale, step your right foot back, lower the knee down. Make sure that your left knee aligns over your ankle. Rest your hands on your left knee, pushing your torso up. Your shoulders align with your hips. Draw your ribs in. Grab your block and place it next to your left hip. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Relax your shoulders down. Lengthen your upper body. Exhale, bend to your left side. Your left hand can land on a block or to the mat. Reach your right arm overhead, lengthening it towards the left side. Feel the stretch from your right hip flexor to your right fingertips. Adjust the block height if necessary, or place your fingers directly on the mat. Allow your right bicep to draw nearer to your ear as you reach overhead. Deep inhale. When you exhale, see if you can go a little bit deeper. Nice and easy. Come back to center. Lower your hands down. Straighten your left leg, and flex your left foot. Inhale, elongate your spine. Exhale, fold into half Hanuman, half split. You may want to walk your hands forward or use your blocks. One side is always going to be different than the other. That is completely normal. Breathe deeply into any areas of resistance or discomfort, inviting a sense of ease with each exhale. Remember, your breath is your best friend.
Gently place both hands inside your left shin, shift your weight forward, and bend your front knee while straightening your back leg, transitioning into lizard pose. Pivot onto the outer edge of your left foot. You have the option to keep your right hand grounded or come down onto your forearm. Listen to your body. It's not about the depth. It's about the action and listening to your body. To go deeper, gently press your left hand against the inner knee. Create a gentle resistance here, allowing your chest to expand. From here, reach your left arm behind you. If accessible, reach for your right foot. Remember, you can always use the help with the block under your right hand. Inhale, feel the air entering your body, and as you exhale, release any tightness or discomfort. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, slowly lower your left hand back to the mat. Transition to plank. Draw your navel towards your spine. On your exhale, lift your hips skyward, pressing firmly through your palms and toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, elevate your left leg straight up and back, extending it behind you while maintaining alignment with your hips. Flex your left foot. Exhale, gently lower your leg back down, returning to downward facing dog. Inhale, lengthen your spine. On the exhale, slowly lower your forearms to the mat. Your elbows are directly beneath your shoulders. If you like, you can interlace your fingers here. Firmly pressing your elbows into the mat, broadening your shoulder blades, activate your glutes, drawing your navel in. Start to walk your feet inwards. Find your dolphin pose. Maintain a gentle bend in your knees and elongate both sides of your waist. Be mindful that your head is actually moving away from the ground instead of hanging heavily against the mat. Pedal your feet. Bend one knee at a time and extend the other. Find your best friend. Breathe deeply. Inhale, rise to the balls of your feet. Exhale, lower your knees down, allowing your hips to rest on your heels. Rest your forehead on the mat, entering child pose. Take this precious moment to reconnect with your breath and with yourself. Inhale, lift your upper body, returning to downward facing dog, elevating your knees off the mat. Lift your hips up and back, allow your neck to soften, finding ease in this pose. Inhale with your own pace, walk or jump to the top of your mat. Extend your back long and inhale. As you exhale, surrender and release, folding forward. Inhale, root to rise, one foot a breath at a time. Gradually rise up to mountain pose. Roll your shoulders up and down. Bring your hands behind your back, interlacing your fingers. Press your palms together firmly. Elbows are squeezed in. Inhale, lift your chest upwards. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Feel the opening in your shoulders. Lower your knuckles overhead. Exhale, release your hands to the mat or your shins. Inhale, extend your back long. Exhale, step your left foot back. Lower your left knee down. Inhale, rise into a low lunge. Exhale, bring your fingertips down. And straighten your right leg, shifting your weight onto your right heel. Lift halfway, untuck your left toes, and slide your right leg forward. Walk your hands forward to find your sweet spot, honoring the limits of your body. If necessary, place a block beneath your right sit bone wherever it feels comfortable. In our yoga practice, it's important to learn to push ourselves gently. To explore our boundaries and to embrace growth, 
It's equally important to also learn the invaluable lesson of listening to our bodies, respecting our limits, and finding stillness amidst the movement. Keep a gentle bend in your right knee. Elevate yourself. Keep your right foot flexed. Your leg is active. Exhale. Slide your right heel back. Remove the block and bend your right knee. Fingertips under your shoulders. Lift your left knee off the mat. Maintain hip width distance between your feet. Bring your torso up into a high lunge. Feeling the energy between your thighs. You can slightly soften your left knee for better balance. Inhale, slide your back foot forward slightly. Hands on the hips. Spin your left heel down. Square your hips. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold over for pyramid pose. Draw your right hip back. Left hip forward, rooting through the legs and feet. Stretching the belly button toward the thigh and the sternum toward the toes. You can release your hands alongside your feet, or on blocks, or on your shin. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Shift your weight onto your front foot, pressing through the heel. Step your left foot to meet your right, coming up to mountain pose. Find your balance in mountain. Grounding through both of your feet and lifting through the crown of your head. Inhale, hands on your hips. Begin to shift your weight onto your right foot and gently bend your left knee. Bring your left heel towards your glute. Bring your left knee alongside your right knee. Press down through your right foot. Draw your right outer hip into the midline. Reach your left hand back. Grab the inside of your left foot or ankle. Inhale, reach your right arm up, lengthen your spine, and find stability in your standing leg. As you exhale, gently press your left foot into your hand, creating a gentle back bend and opening in the front of your body. You can stay here, or extend your right arm forward, lowering down, finding balance and grace in baby dancer pose. Steady breath. Focus your gaze on a fixed point in front of you to help with the balance and concentration. Gently release. Find your mountain pose. Bring your feet hip distance apart. Roll your shoulders up and down. Exhale. Bend forward from your hips. Use your peace sign fingers to grab your big toes. Press your toes down against your fingers. Inhale, lift your torso as if you were going to stand up, straightening your elbows. Exhale, bend your elbows out to the sides, pull up onto your toes, and gently lower into forward fold, allowing gravity to assist in the stretch. Inhale, extend your back long. Finding length and extension along your spine. Exhale, release your hands down to the mat. Step your right foot back, lowering your right knee down. Inhale, bring your arms overhead, rise into a low lunge. Exhale, bring your fingertips down and straighten your left leg, shifting your weight onto your left heel. Untuck your right toes and slide your left leg as forward as your body allows you to comfortably stretch. Maybe you can come all the way down. Maybe there is a big gap between your leg and the mat. It doesn't matter. Listen to your body. Explore the space with mindful awareness. The last thing you want to do is to force your body on where you are now. You can always place a block beneath your left sit bone wherever it feels comfortable. Flex your left foot. Pointing your toes up to the ceiling. Exhale, slide your left heel back. Remove the block and bend your left knee. Fingertips under your shoulders. Lift your right knee off the mat. Rise up into a high lunge. Feeling the strength between your thighs. Again, you can bend your right knee for stability. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. 
Externally rotate your arms. Gaze forward. Inhale slightly. Slide your back foot forward. Shorten your stance a little bit. Place your hands on your hips and spin your right heel down, allowing your hips to square. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold over for pyramid pose. Draw your left hip back, right hip forward. Root through the legs and feet. Both of legs are working. They are super strong. Inhale, lift your chest up tiny bit. Exhale, see if you can go a little bit deeper. Engage your core to come out. Gently rise up. Step your right foot forward to meet your left, coming up to mountain pose with both feet grounded. Stand tall. Find your balance. Inhale. Place your hands on your hips, grounding and centering yourself. Exhale. Start to shift your weight onto your left foot. Then surpose on the left. Gently bend your right knee. Bring your right heel towards your glute. Reach your right hand back and grab the inside of your right foot for angle. Inhale, reach your left arm up, lengthening your spine. Exhale, gently press your right foot into your hand, creating a gentle back bend, opening in the front of your body. Stay here if you are feeling good. Or extend your left arm forward, finding balance and grace in dancer pose. Breathe. Find your drishti. Focus your gaze on a fixed point in front of you. Gently coming out of your dancer, bring yourself back to mountain pose. Moving into our last standing sequence. Inhale, raise your arms overhead, finding a gentle back bend. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway up, lengthening your spine, flat back. Exhale, step back into a high plank, engaging your core and maintaining a straight line from head to heels. Start to lower your knees, chest, chin to the mat, coming into a modified chaturanga. Inhale, slide forward into cobra. Lifting your chest and keeping your shoulders relaxed away from your ears. Exhale, tuck your toes under. Press through your hands and lift your hips up and back into downward facing dog. From here, shift your weight forward, coming back to high plank. Engage your core and slowly roll onto the outer edge of your left foot, stacking your right foot on top. Inhale, extend your right arm toward the sky. Opening your chest, find balance in side plank. Option to lower your left knee down to the mat for support. From here, it's going to be a little bit challenging, but it's fun. Try it. Inhale, step your right foot forward between your hands. You can use your hand to bring your foot forward, coming into a high lunge. Exhale, lower your left heel down. Align your right heel with the arch of your left foot and open your hips to the side for Warrior Two. Inhale, reach your arms out to the sides, parallel to the ground. Gaze over your right fingertips. Exhale, lower your right arm down. Bring your right hand to rest on your right thigh or shin. Inhale, lift your left arm up and overhead. Creating a diagonal line of energy from your left fingertips to your left heel. Exhale, gently lean your torso to the right side. Feel the stretch and opening in your left side body. You can turn your gaze upward towards your left hand, deepening the pose and enhancing the stretch. Extended side angle. Inhale and press through your feet, coming back to an upright position. Exhale, pivot both feet to face the long edge of your mat, creating a wide-legged stance. You might want to place two blocks in front of you. Bring your hands to the hips. Inhale and lift your chest. Exhale, fold forward, placing your hands on the blocks. Place just beneath your shoulders, 
in Pasarita Padadhasana. Turn your blocks to whatever level you need and even come out to fingertips on the blocks so your spine is in line with your pelvis. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist your torso to the right as you reach your right arm toward the ceiling. If it's comfortable, you can turn your neck to look up to your top hand. Breathe. On your final exhalation, return your right hand to the block. Switch side. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist to the left. Open your left arm up to the sky. Release hands on your hips. Engage your core. Slowly come out. Turn and step to the front of a mat in Tadasana Mountain Pose. How are you feeling? Should we keep flowing? Other side. Inhale, lift your arms overhead. Maybe a gentle back bend. Exhale, surrender forward. Inhale, rise halfway up. Elongate your spine. Exhale, step back into a high plank, activating your core. Lower your knees, chest, chin to the mat. Modify Chaturanga. Inhale, extend your arms into Cobra, lifting your chest up. Exhale, curl your toes under, press through your hands, and lift your hips up and back into Downward Facing Dog. Transfer your weight forward, returning to High Plank. Engage your core and gradually roll onto the outer edge of your right foot. Your left foot on top. Inhale, extend your left arm towards the ceiling. Side plank. Same option here, you can lower your right knee down to the ground. Make this practice your very own. Moving into the fun transition, step your left foot forward between your hands. Use your hand to guide your foot forward if needed. Coming into high lunge, arms up overhead. Exhale, ground your right heel. Align your left heel with the arch of your right foot. Open up to your right side for warrior two. Inhale, reach your arms outward, parallel to the ground. Gaze over your left fingertips. Bend your left elbow. Place it on your left thigh or shin. Inhale, reach your right arm up and over your head. Forming a diagonal line of energy from your right fingertips to your right heel. Feel the stretch in your right side body. Extend the side angle. Gently press down through your feet, returning to an upright position. Exhale, pit with both of your feet to face the long side of your mat. Find a wide leg stance. Place your hands on your hips. Place your blocks here if you did it on the other side. With an exhale, fold forward from the hips, leading with your chest. Maintain a long spine. Lower your right hand onto the mat or block. Reach your left arm towards the ceiling. Gentle twist. Expand your chest. Breathe. Return to center, other side. Left hand on the mat or block. Reach your right arm towards the ceiling. Your gaze can follow. Gently release your hands back down. Hands on your hips. Engage your core to slowly rise up. Step your right foot to meet the left at the top of your mat for mountain pose. You're doing a great job. Now we're going to move our way down to the mat. Inhale, lift your arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise halfway up. Long spine. Exhale, step back. Lower completely onto the floor. Rest your forehead on the mat, relaxing your neck and shoulders. Ground the hips and feet firmly into the floor. Keep the backs of your hands pressing firmly into the floor. Inhale, lift your chest up for three breaths. Keeping your gaze down to maintain a neutral neck position. Draw your shoulder blades together, feeling the engagement in your upper back. 
opening through your chest. Keep your legs active, pressing them firmly into the mat. Release. One more time. This time, when you inhale, lift your chest, head, and legs off the ground, keeping your gaze down, your hands and pubic bones down on the mat. For three, two, one. Release. Lay on your belly, bend your knees, and bring your heels towards your buttocks, keeping them hip width apart. Reach your arms back and grab your ankles or feet with your hands. If you can't reach, you can use a yoga strap around your ankles to hold on to. On an inhale, press your pubic bones firmly into the mat, engage your core, and lift your chest and thighs off the ground. Bow pose. Keep your gaze forward, maintaining a gentle extension through your neck, avoiding any strain. Draw your shoulder blades together and open through your chest, finding a broad and open heart space. Kick your feet into your hands, gradually lifting your thighs higher. You can gently rocking back and forth, using the momentum to deepen the stretch and increase the challenge. To release, exhale and gently lower your chest, thighs, and feet back down to the mat. Release your hold on your ankles or feet. Extend your legs fully and rest your forehead on the mat. Align your body to relax. Separate your knees wide and bring your big toes to touch behind you. Yes, we are going to child pose. Lower your hips towards your heels. Reach your arms forward and let your forehead rest on the mat. Allow the weight of your body to sink down. Use this time to connect with your breath. Observe the sensations in your body. Inhale deeply and slowly begin to lift your upper body, coming up onto your knees, coming into a seated position. Extend your legs in front of you, feet together and toes pointing up. Place your hands beside your hips, fingertips pointing forward, and press them firmly into the mat. Flex your feet and press your heels down into the mat. Lengthen to your spine. Imagine a gentle upper pull from the crown of your head. Draw your shoulder blades back and down, opening your chest and broadening your collarbones. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Soften your facial muscles. Press down through your sitting bones. Dandasana, staff pose. Take slow, deep breaths. Allow your breath to flow smoothly and naturally. Inhale, bring your arms up, lengthening through your spine. Exhale, begin to hinge forward at your hips. Lead with your chest, maintain a long flat back as you fold forward. Keep your gaze forward. Allow your hands to land wherever is comfortable for you, whether it's your shins, ankles, or feet. Focusing on maintaining a gentle stretch, anywhere is perfect. Stay here for several breaths. Each time you practice, honor where you are in your journey. Avoid pushing yourself too forcefully. Embrace the inward focus and surrender of this pose. Slowly inhale and lift your torso back up, lengthening through your spine. Gently bend your knees to bring the feet together. Draw the soles of your feet together and use your hands to open them as if you were opening a book. Clap your ankles to help you find lift along your torso, sitting tall with your shoulders relaxed and down. Bring your knees together. 
Gently roll down, lying on your back with your knees bent, feet on the floor, coming into one of my favorite heart opening poses, fish pose. Set a block across the top of your mat and another lengthwise a few inches below it. Lie back so that the first block is under your head. Adjust the other so that it's comfortably between your shoulder blades. You can keep your knees bent and stay here or extend your legs. If this feels good for you, you can close your eyes. Enjoy this restorative fish pose before we enter into our final pose. If you want more of an active heart opener, you can remove the blocks, start by lying your back on the mat with your feet on the floor, knees bent. Inhale, lift your pelvis slightly off the floor and slide your hands, palms down below your buttocks. Then rest your buttocks on the backs of your hands. Tuck your forearms and elbows up close to the sides of your torso. Inhale, press your forearms and elbows firmly against the floor. Press your shoulder blades into your back with an inhale. Lift your chest and head away from the floor. Then release your head back onto the floor. Depending on how high you arch your back and lift your chest, either the back of your head or its crown will rest on the floor. You can keep your knees bent or straighten your legs out onto the floor. Breathe smoothly. Take a few deep calming breaths, allowing your breath to become slow and steady. As you feel ready to come out, gently slide the blocks out from underneath you, supporting your head with your hands if needed. Gently lower down. Draw your knees to your chest. Give yourself a nice hug. Gently extend your legs out in front of you, allowing them to relax and find a comfortable position. Allow your arms to rest alongside your body, palms facing up. Close your eyes and bring your attention inward. Tuning into the sensations and the rhythm of your breath. Final Shavasana. Release any remaining tension in your body. Consciously relaxing your muscles and surrendering to the support of the mat. Let go of any thoughts or distractions. Allowing your mind to find stillness and peace. Rest. Completely surrendering to the present moment. When you feel ready to come out of the pose, gently deepen your breath, gradually awakening your body and mind. Slowly and mindfully begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, bringing gentle movement back into your body. Stretch your arms overhead and take a full body stretch, awakening your muscles. Bend your knees and roll over to one side, resting in a fetal position for a moment. Use your hands to support yourself as you slowly press up to a seated position. Bring your hands to your heart center. Take a moment to appreciate the time and space you have created for yourself. Remember that the practice of yoga extends far beyond the boundaries of our meds. Carry the lessons learned on your mat into your daily life. The patience, resilience, and mindfulness. As you leave this space, may you carry with you a sense of peace, joy, and gratitude. Trust in your own inner wisdom and know that you are capable of facing any challenges that come your way. Thank you for sharing your practice with me.
My name is Francis. Namaste.